Hi guys, what we have here is a selection of LiPo testing machines. I've got three of them here and we're going to just have a quick look at them and see which one actually works best. Stay there. So here we have three LiPo testers, all different calibers all different price points, and I'm gonna tell you which one I prefer and which one works best for me. Let's zoom in a bit so you can actually see them. This is the, um, well actually I'm gonna start with this one actually, sorry. This is the BX100. This is the cased version. You can buy it without a case. And this is a very basic tester, but it is pretty much all you need. Um, this one has another use where it's supposed to set off an actual alarm when your LiPo gets low, so you can actually leave this on your LiPo. Use your bounce lead. Get it lined up. There you have, four cells all. Gives you the full amount, and then it goes through each LiPo or each cell and tells you what the charge is for each one. So all is 16.7, 1, 4.2, 2, 4.18, 3, 4.18, 4, 4.2, all 16.7. So it's kind of useful, but you have to remember that because it only flashes up the information quite quickly. The only reason I like this one, or used to like this one maybe, is for the all reading, 16.7. That was the only reason I would actually use that one. I've actually put tape on the top here because the alarm, the noise it makes is so loud, it's so annoying. But this is a very cheap LiPo tester. But it's very basic. It's not gonna work now, is it? So there, you can see it's a bit random as well now and again. So there, that's all right, but it's not, it's not really my favorite. So I went out and bought this one. This is the Hobby Porter MC06, this one. It does a whole lot of bag of tricks, to be honest with you. This one does receiver testers. You can actually connect it with your controller to it and you can see if your sticks are working correctly. But I've only ever used this for a LiPo tester. And that's all we are gonna show and talk about today. So this, this has a lovely display on it. So you plug your LiPo in and it shows each cell, gives you the actual count on the side in a very nice little graphic. So that's that's useful for knowing, basically these LiPo chargers, you're gonna use them if you're looking to parallel charge. So you need to know how out or how out of actual sync your, your cells are and if, if you've got the right voltage to be able to actually do a parallel charge with them. So that doesn't actually show you the combination though, the total. It's the only thing missing, as that might be perfect, to be honest with you. But a nice quick display. So I was hoping one of these two would be great, but they're both, they both don't quite hit the mark. That one was almost around 10 pounds. This one was around six pounds, I think, maybe four pounds. So I went out and I bought this one. And I forget the name of this one. It has got a particular name. Let's see if I've got it. There you go. That's what it is. It's the Cell Meter 7. Don't forget it. Brilliant name. Cell Meter 7. So the Cell Meter 7, not the greatest size, but very useful. Very, very useful. Like it a lot. So, plug your LiPo in. You get to see your total uh, cell count and it gives you the percentage. So I know that that is 99% full, straight off the bat. That battery needs to be used really, or it needs to be put into storage. So 16.8 is the total. You can actually go through each cell. That's the cells there, so you can do that quite quickly by yourself as well. And that is all I use it for. 99% full, there's the total reading. Go through the cells, boom. Perfect, nice and easy. And this one cost around six pounds, I think. 
So, not a bad price, and I think this is the actual best one. This one, this one looks cool, and if you're into testing receivers and stuff and doing different things, then I would look into this one because you can actually power it from a USB. You can do some receiver testing, but it's I'm never going to use it for that. And all I wanted it for was lipo testing. This one, it's a bit basic and a bit annoying. This one, love it. Perfect. You can actually do your, your one, one S lipos. These do work. A bit fiddly to get them on. There you go. 99% charged. Cell. It's only got one cell. So that works fine. That was another thing with this one actually. I couldn't get the 1S to work on this. 2S works, 1S doesn't. There you go, it just doesn't work. I don't know if anyone else has had that problem with it. A 2S does work. 2S comes up fine. 1S doesn't work at all. Uh, this one, the 1S does work, just so you know. But can you see the weight? It's quite annoying. And this one, put it the right way. 1S works fine. 99% full. There's your total charge anyway. That battery needs to be used. So yeah, I really like that. Works, obviously, this actually works up to, uh, up to 7S. Never seen a 7S battery, but it will work with a 7S. This is a brand new battery, this is in storage mode. So yeah, there you go guys. I think everybody should have a LiPo tester, to be honest with you. Not just for making sure that your batteries are in count for your, um, for your charging, but just to make sure where your batteries are, if you need to put them into storage or you need to fly them. So there you go. They all do work. If you like adding up, this is probably the one for you. If you like annoying beeps and waiting, that one could be for you. If you like everything displayed very fast and very efficiently, this is definitely the one, 100%. Description down below. I'll also try and provide a couple of links. Around six pounds, like I said. Very good. Hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Cheers, guys.